Hi, everybody. Russ from the West Sound Network. Hope you're all safe and well. If you're new there, give it a like. Give it a comment. Give it a share. Give it a subscribe. It's Monday. Oh, the fallout from yesterday. It's game week one. We've got 37 games to go. We've got 111 points still to play for. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We lost 2-0 to the, to the Premier League champions. The, the champions who have won the last four. It's on four champion premierships out of five. Guess I didn't, guess I didn't get out of third gear. But I thought we looked about 60% as well, to be honest. I mean, that was where, like, the game last season, we were, you know, at capacity. And I think second half, so a City at capacity. So, you know, it was a bit of a different game all round, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, very, very frustrating as always. Um, we were fortunate enough on the, on the live stream to get Ray Stewart on. Uh, we had um, we've had, we had, uh, we had Trevor Sinclair on for the preview. We had um, Stuart Slater. We had Robbie Slater, Kenny Brown. We had Kaz come on. We had West Ham Clips come on. Um, we also had... Um, also had... Bobby Seagull came up, did a little piece um, yesterday, and Billy Horshaw, the, the golfer. So loads of people came on and joined us, plus all the actual watch alongs and stuff like that itself. So check it all out as always and hit the bell notification. We've, we're this, this far away from 13,000 subscribers, which would be lovely if we could hit that before, you know, the Forest game. Lovely, lovely double celebration in preparation for our first win of the season. Anyway, I bring to you a bit of fallout. Uh, from that game yesterday uh, and uh, both in terms of outgoings and in games and I'm sure you know about the outgoings um, so we'll start with them uh, actually I should really say this is Hammers Headlines in association with knees at motherbrand.com and it's the 8th of August there we go anyway back back to it so we'll start with one of the fallouts from yesterday was where the hell was Diop? You know, we needed a centre-back. Um, again, it's injured. Uh, Dawson's got a knock, which may mean that he can't play against Forrest, potentially, as well. Oggy's about a month away from full fitness. So Ben Johnson had to play centre-back. So surely that meant, where was Issa Diop? But by all accounts, um, Moyes, uh, in his post-match press conference, said he basically, that Issa Diop wasn't available, to, he had made himself available to play uh, for the next couple of weeks or something like that, he said in, in sort of a, in a roundabout way. Now, since then, West Ham have apparently struck a £17 million transfer deal for the one to way centre-back uh, with Fulham. Uh, after that David Moyes admission, um, it was widely publicised that um, West Ham had agreed a, uh, had agreed had agreement in place to sell him uh, at the beginning of the summer, uh, and then Aguard was coming in, da, 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 and I think I think Lekeep and a few other news outlets claimed that the deal was agreed, um, and then obviously, understandably by Moisey, Aguard gets injured at the Rangers game, and they press pause on that. Now, Diop, by the sounds of it, has reportedly become unhappy about doing that. He thought he was going to leave, and now he's not. He wants to move on. He's he wasn't. He realised he was probably fourth choice centre back um, at, at West Ham, and wanted to. You know, he's twenty five, so you know he should be playing peak of his career or going into his peak. So maybe he wanted, he wanted to move on, and so this didn't happen. And um, but as Moyes said, you know, apparently Diop refused to play. Uh, in the last couple of games, so the writing was always on the wall. Obviously, you'd rather want to play. You want players playing who actually want to play for the club and not play for the club. And by all accounts, um, the, the deal has been agreed with Fulham, um, and he'll become a Fulham player shortly. Hope, or hopefully, well, hopefully for him as well, because you know his head was turned, and you know then to be said you can't do it. He got a bit pissed off by it, by the sounds of it. So um, let's let's. I wish him all the best because you know he, he's he's done us well when he's played. Um, I don't agree with him throwing his toys in the pram um but you know you only know half the story don't you really so um bold accounts he's he's off to fulham for 17 million pounds um, that follows reports from fabrizio romana who said that west ham are also looking to move on side ben rama and nicola vlasic with reports that nottingham forest were looking at side in relation to a 30 million pound bid can't be that must be 
that sounds bollocks to me um <laughs> but uh they were interested in signing him and, and vlasic bowl accounts a loan to buy deal with torino so it could be three out the door for west ham um in the coming days which will be interesting which means we need bodies in surely one out doesn't this hopefully one out means one in which should do so in terms of defensively there's a couple of people we're looking at the first one is um is is this man dan axel zagadu zagadu do do push pineapple shake the tree um obviously yesterday our defensive frailties were, were called into question uh were exposed by our lack of numbers in that department again we, we you know before i got injured we had four we, you know in essence four center backs and very similar to last year we ended up having one again how does that happen um but it's just the way of the world of west ham it seems but apparently these defensive frailties have opened the door up for potentially Dan Axel Zagadou as arrival at London Stadium. According to The Sun, yes, uh, on Friday and reported on Saturday as well, the Hammers are keeping tabs on the French free agents. Proven defender in the Bundesliga. Um, I think be a very astute signing for Moisey. Um, not only in terms of looking to solidify that centre-back position while Aguirre's injured, but he, he also plays left-back as well, which is interesting. Um, he, he's a former... He, well, he used to play for Borussia Dortmund until the, his contract ran out this summer. Uh, so it wouldn't be sort of using up any of that transfer kitty, although we know it's not a free transfer, it's never a free transfer. Um, but apparently the likes of Roma and Inter Milan are also keeping an eye on him um, for the former French under-21 international. He's a giant, he's six foot four, I think, something like that. Absolute beast of a man. He used to be on the books of Paris Saint-Germain as well before moving to Dortmund in 2017. Um, would definitely add uh, depth to our squad. Um, and, you know, as I said, for a freebie, not a bad freebie and, and still young and someone, you know, who was tipped to, you know, do a lot in the game. He, he had a couple of injuries, um, which has sort of hampered him a little bit, but he still has a lot of potential. Um, and, you know, you can see with the likes of Roma into Milan are looking at him as well. So he's, he's no, he's no, uh, he's, he's no duffer. He's no duffer. So we'll see what happens with that. Another guy we've been heavily linked to, um, and apparently we've had bids rejected for him, um, is this guy, this guy, Attila. Uh, Attila Zazla uh, from Fenerbahce. Uh, apparently we're ready to make a 15 million euro. That's a 12.4 million pound bid for him. Uh, that's according to a report from Turkish public publication, Yeni Safak, who claimed that the Hammers will be knocking on Fenerbahce's door very, very soon. They claim the Hammers are ready to knock on the door of this offer for the 24-year-old Hungarian international centre-back. I think he is, this dude is quality. This dude is the, the right type of player we should be getting. Under the radar, but very, very, has a lot of potential. A lot of, um, so I'm surprised that more clubs haven't come in for him yet. And um, so hopefully, you know, this is, this, is this is the type of one we need to get under the, get done quickly, you know, before anyone else sort of you know, we get a jump on it if that makes sense he's six foot four uh he's been capped by hungary 24 times very imposing strong athletic dominant in the air the new craig dawson you know he's he's he's, he's a unit and um i think he's exactly what we need um and also he can play left back as well uh, which again is quite useful um he last season 32 super league games for fenerbahce one goal two assists um average pass completion rate of 81 percent um and as i said i think we need this is the type of deal we have to wrap up quickly uh we have to get quickly before other clubs start start sniffing around for him um i mean there's also you know also you know um on x who employees podcast the other day he spoke about this gentleman as well as a potential um incoming for us in that defensive position uh in terms of to to Kiri, Tiro Kyra, um, centre back, could also play left back. There's that's sort of three of them now who are centre backs who can play left back. Um, and I think he could he could be another potential. So that yeah, we're getting these guys lined up. It's just about which ones that Moyes, you know, where is his priorities lie? For me, Attila's number one, I'll be honest. I just think he's 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 I think he's really, really good. Um in terms of uh this this gentleman, this gentleman here, um Tiho. Uh, Tilo, 
he made he's made 125 appearances for Paris Saint Germain. He's a German international. Joined the club in 2018, so ex- very experienced. Um, played a lot of games for PSG. So you know, it's not doom and gloom. It's not. It's it's one game. It's not doom and gloom. And we've got Forest the weekend, which I think is going to be an absolute banger of a match and a real test for us. So, um, and that's it, my friends. So, anyway, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Who would you like? Would you like Attila? Would you like Kier, 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 Kier? I can't pronounce it. Would you like Zagadu? If only just for the name. Zagadu, do, do, push by apples, grind coffee. And as I say, keep an eye out for all the content we've got coming up this week with the previews and all that type of stuff. So until next time, my friends, take care, stay safe, stay positive, stay hydrated. It's going to be a warm one. It'll be a warm one in Home Church this week. And uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Ta-ta for now. Cheerio. (laughs) 